if the feelings and the shame, excuse me, if the feelings and the needs get shame and that becomes uh, something that they experience maybe from a caregiver, we're mm-hmm. talking about this could become a lifestyle then based upon what you're saying. A person could have a lifestyle of their feelings and their needs being shamed so they don't even really understand what they are, let, let alone speak up. That's right. When so they end up getting in relationships where their needs aren't met and they don't even know. Right. And they don't even care. <laughs> they're just meeting the needs of the other person and thinking, unconsciously thinking that they're going to get their needs met. With a narcissist as a bottomless pit, yeah. <laughs> they're never going to be never satisfied is. because they have shame underneath. And they're out of touch with all of their vulnerable feelings and their emotional needs. So they choose someone who's more empathetic and chart and in touch with their feelings. And you kind of supply that for them. Right. Okay. Um, now you said the.